Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this LG L90 which is a mid-range Android phone and in this video we'll be doing the benchmarks and I'll also talk about moving the apps to the SD card. This phone does have a SD card slot and to start with, uh, let me start with the configuration and for that we'll use the CPU-Z application and as you can see it sports a uh, quad-quad processor that's clocked at 1.2 GHz and it's based on the Snapdragon 400 chipset uh, which was also used on the Moto G and as you can see we, it is a quad core processor and in terms of GPU it has the Adreno 305 GPU and as you can see it sports a QHD screen that means the resolution is 540 by 960 and in terms of RAM it has 1 gig of RAM uh, internal storage is a little bit less but it does have micro SD card support Regarding the battery, it supports a user replaceable uh, 2540 milliamp hour battery and in my initial testing, the battery life seems to be good. I'm still testing the battery life. So that's for the configuration. I also ran a, quite a few benchmarks and I've already run them. So let me quickly show you the scores. And as you can see on the quadrant, we got a score of 8742. I also ran the, what do you say, Antutu benchmark and in Antutu we got a score of 17,392 and according to Antutu it's slightly above the Nexus 4 and slightly below the Galaxy S3. So decent score uh, considering the price point of this device. I also ran the Epic Citadel uh, for uh, gaming and uh, I ran it in two modes, uh, one is the high performance mode and in this i got a score of 58.4 which is actually pretty good as you can see but i also ran it at the, at the highest setting and here the score dipped to 41.2 that means it should be able to play most of the games uh, again i do not believe a lot in benchmarks i also ran this uh, nina mark uh, 2 and here also we got some very good scores as you can see we got a score of 59.8 which is pretty impressive so as per the benchmarks, this LG L90 should also do good in gaming, but I generally do not believe in benchmarks. So I'll also be doing an in-depth gaming review with this LG L90 very soon. So just stay tuned to my channel for that. And now coming to the uh, moving the, uh, what do you say, uh, apps to the SD card. This does have a SD card. And as you can see, if you go to the storage tab, I added 8 GB SD card. And the thing is that, yes, you can move some of the apps to the SD card, but not all. And if you go to the apps here, just go here to the downloaded uh, one. And here you can see that we have all the apps. As I told you, not all apps are movable. For example, like this Chrome browser is not movable. And you just do not get the option of moving to the SD card for the Chrome browser. But for some apps, it is available. For example, this Epic Digital Benchmark, if you go in there, I was able to move it uh, to the SD card. And if you just click here, move to the phone, it moves back. For example, let's try that for Temple Run 2. As you can see, it gives us the option to move to the SD card. And if you want to move it, you just hit this option. And it will take a minute or so and move the app to the SD card. But do note that only a part of the app is moved to the SD card. And it differs from app to app. Uh, some apps I've noticed, uh, they move quite a bit of data to the SD card. Some only a limited amount. So as you can see, now the uh, app has been moved to the SD card. And if you just go back, Again, we can move a lot of games, for example, to the SD card, but not very, very big games. For example, I tried to move this dead trigger to, it has an option to move to the SD card, but out of that 400 uh, odd MB, only a limited part of the game was movable to the SD card. So yes, some of the apps can be moved to the SD card, but not all the apps. So I'll be doing the gaming review and also the full in-depth review for this LG L90 uh, very soon. So if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe to the same. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.